Hello, good evening. Tributes have been paid to a blood bike volunteer from Cumbria who died after a crash on Saturday. 49-year-old Russell Kerwin was injured in a collision with a car in Lancaster and died later in hospital. Ian Haslam reports. Described as a much-loved son, brother and uncle, Russell Kerwin from Kendall had been a volunteer blood bike rider for two and a half years. Here's a picture of, uh, of Russell uh, attending uh, one of our many events and many events that he attended uh, throughout his time with us. Lee Townsend worked alongside Russell on the blood bikes. Who knows how many lives he's, he's helped to save. Russell was a, was a great guy and he's one of ours, he's one of, a, one of our... Uh, members and everybody in the charity bar none is absolutely shocked and stunned. Northwest Blood Bikes founded in May 2012. Russell was one of over 300 volunteers across Lancashire and the South Lakes. Paying tribute, Russell Kerwin's family say he was a man who liked to live life to the full, giving up his time to take vital blood supplies to hospitals to help those who needed it the most. He died, they say, doing something he loved. Today, Russell's local MP, Tim Farron, tweeted, This is awful, tragic news. Russell was one of our amazing volunteer blood bikers who helped save lives. We're so grateful to him and for him. We will look to some way of remembering Russell uh, forever. Uh, and one of those options is that we could possibly name one of our bikes after him. And when it comes to his funeral, the likelihood is that throughout the biking and the blood biking community, um, there will be a huge response uh, to his funeral. Lancashire Police say the driver of a white Jaguar XJR that was in collision with Russell suffered minor injuries. They're appealing for witnesses to get in touch. Ian Haslam, BBC Northwest Tonight. Well-wishers continue to offer their support to Sir Alex Ferguson, who's still in intensive care at Salford Royal Hospital following emergency surgery for a brain hemorrhage at the weekend. Manchester United defender Phil Jones is hoping his former manager can make a full recovery. He was the one who brought me to the club and gave me that opportunity to play for one of the biggest clubs in the world. And you know, he took me under his wing like, like a father. And um, yeah, it was it was shocking, it was sad, but. Um, you know, I know his character, I know he has that fight in him and, and, and hopefully he'll, he'll recover well. Police are investigating after a teenager suffered serious injuries in a shooting in Manchester. The victim in his late teens was with friends when he was shot in his leg on Vale Street in the Clayton area of the city at around quarter to three. A party has been held today in Liverpool to celebrate the 25th anniversary of a charity house that has helped thousands of families of sick children. Ronald McDonald House has provided accommodation and support for over 32,000 families with critically ill youngsters at Alderhays Children's Hospital. Naomi Cornwell reports. This is my bedroom, this is where I stay. This is my castle. Nyla's brother, Sonny, has been a patient at Alderhay since he was born 11 months ago. So we've stayed pretty much since we, since we first came. Uh, Sonny's got the George syndrome, which is a lot of problems do with his heart and things. So we try and keep a bit of normality for the other two kids. And yeah, and this Ronald McDonald house helps massively. Isla's family is one of more than 32,000 families who benefited from the facilities here over the last 25 years. A lot of families come from more than an hour away from the hospital and there are some beds by the children's beds in Alder Hay but not everybody has that facility and so we give them somewhere to stay, somewhere to eat, somewhere to sleep, do the washing, all the practical things that people need to do when their child is in hospital. Today some of those families return to celebrate the charity's work. It's really good for me because we haven't got a car and we haven't got family with a car, so it's brilliant for me, especially with me being disabled. And they're really good with me being on my own, especially on your tearful days. It's a community in itself, and there's a lot of peer support goes on, a lot of families supporting each other. They meet each other on the ward, and then they come back here, and they support each other. Um, and that's what we're here for as staff as well, is a listening ear for a family. Um, after they've had a hard day, they can come and have a chat, and we just offer a bit of normality, really, in, in you know, what is really, really difficult time for families. Nyla hopes her brother will be able to leave hospital eventually. Until then, this is her home from home.
Naomi Cornwell, BBC Northwest Tonight in Liverpool. Now it's been a bank holiday of celebrations for two of our Northwest football teams. Yesterday, Accrington Stanley travelled on an open top bus through the town to celebrate their historic league title. And this afternoon, Blackburn Rovers met hundreds of supporters at a special event to celebrate their promotion to the championship. Now in cricket, Lancashire failed to capitalise on a good start to the county championship fixture against Somerset and ended up drawing the game. It means Lancashire are without a win from their opening four matches. Now the Bolton comedian Peter Kay is back on TV tonight for the first time since cancelling his live UK tour. There's a special improvised episode of his hit show Car Share, which has already been given a charity showing to audiences in Blackpool. Looking forward to that. Now it's been a lovely day today. Temperatures reached 26 Celsius, hotter than Rome. Here's some pictures enjoying the people enjoying the, uh, the weather in Sefton Park. And a sunny day on the beach too at Lytham St Anne's. Not so great uh, for me and Diane who've been stuck in the studio all day today. Is it going to continue? Well, do you know what? Normally when you find out you're working on a bank holiday, you don't care because usually no. it rains. But today, what a day. I hope you've had the chance to enjoy it. It really has been spectacular. As Steve said, we have had some wonderful temperatures. 26 degrees at Rochdale, 79 in Fahrenheit. The Isle of Man struggling to 14 degrees. So really, there have been some contrasts around the northwest of England. But for most of us, a lovely day. Tomorrow we'll see some rain developing in the afternoon and then after that it's cooler for the rest of the, for the week. At the minute we've got lots of sunshine, this is how we all end our day. Plenty of sunshine around. As the night progresses we'll see this little line of cloud working its way into parts of the Isle of Man, into parts of Cumbria as well. Shouldn't really affect the temperatures, they're pretty good tonight for the most part between 9 and 13 degrees. And for tomorrow morning, well as soon as the sun comes up for most of us, apart from the Isle of Man once again, we should see it. A nice morning but see how the cloud is starting to encroach. Some places will get to around 20 degrees around lunchtime as this line of rain works its way in as you head through the afternoon the temperatures will fall between 15 and 18 as we head toward tea time steve it's all over oh, i don't like the look of that rain thanks diane that's it for me for now i'm back again with our late news just before quarter to 11 until then have a good evening bye-bye